Hello, welcome to Made Fit TV. I'm your host, Jennifer DiDonato, and this is episode number 50. We are over the hill. I know, I know. Oh come such a long way. But thanks so much for joining us. Mayfit TV is everyone's source for health and fitness information and entertainment. And it's where fit bodies don't just happen, they are made. You can do it, you can make it. So welcome. Today we are doing a recipe. I am making sweet potato muffins. And you know what? I don't have a plate to show you right now because I ate them all. I ate my batch earlier. So today it's gonna be fresh. Okay. So to start, what we're gonna do is we're gonna start with um, something interesting, a sweet potato. I just wanna show you though, I found these at the store and they are microwavable sweet potatoes. I don't know if any of you have seen these before. You don't have to take the plastic wrap off, you just stick in the microwave for about five to seven minutes. Um, it may sound like it's gonna explode, you may wanna take cover, but don't worry, it won't. And then you just take it out and it's, and it's ready. So what I did is I took one of these and I peeled it after the fact. Be careful though, it's hot, let it sit for a little while. So I peeled it, there you go. So you're gonna be using, first ingredient is going to be one medium sweet potato, or you can use um, half a cup, I'm sorry, one full cup of sweet potato puree. You can get it canned at any natural food uh, store. I don't have it here with me, but that can also work as well. But I found making it with the fresh sweet potato, it makes the consistency of the muffins a little bit more thick and a little bit more scrumptious. So I think you'll like it this way. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna mash this up a little bit. Now what I'm gonna do is just I'm gonna dump it in my little bowl. I just, I just love these pink bowls. I know they're so silly, aren't they? Okay. Next thing we're going to do, you're going to use one cup of egg whites or six egg whites. So I'm just going to put it into this glass first, the measuring cup, just so I can make sure that I'm getting one full cup out of these eggs. Because sometimes eggs will run a little bit smaller, a little bit bigger. But I would say use large eggs. So there you have it, eight ounces, one cup of egg whites. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is just dump this on in here like so. Okay. Now the next thing I'm gonna do, we're gonna use a little bit of spices, kinda spice it up a little bit. This recipe is actually pretty good for the fall too because we're putting some pumpkin spice in there. So first, we're gonna put in one tablespoon of cinnamon this is a half tablespoon. Like I said, I can't find my tablespoon. So I gotta use two of these. One. Oh, come on. One tablespoon of cinnamon. One tablespoon of pumpkin spice. This is what gives it that fall flavor. But it's still good, it's still good for summertime. Okay, next thing, uh, we're gonna use some Splenda. This is gonna be a very low, low sugar, low carbohydrate recipe. So I'm a big fan of Splenda. I know a lot of people out there, I always say this, you don't really like it, or you wanna stay away from it, which is fine. Everything in moderation, I totally understand. But in this recipe, you can put in, to taste, either a quarter of a cup or, um, I'm sorry, either a quarter of a cup or half a cup of uh, Splenda baking blend. Put in half a cup. And even if you're using Splenda packets, just put in um, about a fourth of a cup because they're a little bit more potent. I'm just going to put in a little bit more because I like mine sweet. Okay. No one saw that. Okay. Now that we have all the dry ingredients in, one more thing we're going to put in pure vanilla extract. Okay. One tablespoon. See, it's real easy. You got the one tablespoon of cinnamon, one tablespoon of the pumpkin spice and one tablespoon of vanilla. Now for the fun part, we're just gonna mix it all in. So now that that's all mixed together, we got the wet ingredients. The final ingredient that we have is of course those tried and true oats. Gotta love the oats. You can either do the quick oats, which are the quick one minute oats, they're a little bit smaller, or you could do the whole oats, um, whichever you prefer, whatever texture. Me, I don't prefer either way, I just like oats. Okay, so these are the quick oats, just in case you're wondering. Two cups of these, two cups. Okay, now instead of blending it, I'm just gonna mix this all together. 
Um, I just always strive to keep my recipes low sugar because it seems like that is the biggest problem with the American diet is there's so much sugar and so much fat. So that's why I try to keep sugar down to a minimum. Even if you wanted to do half of the Splenda and half honey, go right ahead or even the, uh, the Splenda brown sugar blend could also work. Okay, so now that we have all that mixed in, all of our ingredients, we have our delicious Mmm, delicious batter. What I did, I'm taking, I'm preheating the oven to 350, by the way, and then I'm just putting these little muffin papers into the tin. This is going to make 12, this serving. And what I did is I just sprayed a little bit with some um, non-stick spray, no calorie, you know, something like Pam, just to make sure that they come out of the paper a little bit better. Okay, so we have that, and what you're going to do is just dollop it in, about two tablespoons each, Dollop it in first into each one of them and then evenly distribute it, you know, e e uh, evenly distribute all the leftovers when you're done just to make sure that each muffin isn't being deprived of the batter. Mm. All right, we're all set. Now we're going to pop them in the oven, 350. I'm going to set it for about... 25 minutes and then I'm going to check on them when I'm done. So we'll see you in a second. Okay, so we patiently waited our 25 minutes and I'm just going to stop the clock right now. Get out my little mitten. Thanks, Isaiah and Lindsay. Future in laws. All right, let's check it out. Okay, here we go. They're about done. They are done. 25 minutes, 12 of these muffins, put it in for 350, and they are pretty much done, guys. So see, look at that nice golden brown. You got the, uh, you can see the little sweet potatoes right in through there. So yeah, you pretty much just pop them all out, and there you go, and one muffin contains only about 70 calories, about half a gram of fat, so it's basically nothing, about 10 to 12 grams of carbohydrates, depending on how large uh, your sweet potato is, and then it's also just three grams of sugar and about three and a half grams of protein. So it's not a huge source of protein, but it's a really good source of carbohydrates to have in the morning or as a snack. Just make sure you refrigerate them because they are natural, so they may get a little moldy if you leave them um, in the, uh, in the closet there or the cabinet. So this is something great you can take to work, have for breakfast, have as a midnight snack, and you're not gonna spike your insulin level. It's gonna be something really good. Whole grains, those low glycemic index carbohydrates, you're really gonna enjoy it, so I hope you guys like it. So email me at Jenny at MadeFit, uh, Yes, Jenny at MadeFitTV.com. Email me. Tell me how you like it. Also, comment down at the bottom. And if you're not watching this through MadeFitTV, I recommend that you do so because I have the whole recipe and the nutrition facts and the quantities listed on the blog right underneath the video as well. And if you're on YouTube, make sure you check it out on MadeFitTV as well because we do the extended versions on there too. And if you guys want to email me and have your viewer mail read on the air, you can just email it to me at the um, Ask Jenny section and MadeFitTV or, of course, MadeFitTV.com. And you can also contact me as well on Twitter. I'm at Jenny DiDonato. On Facebook, become my friend. I'm Jennifer DiDonato on there. And you can also catch us on Viddler and YouTube and a bunch of different um, videos. But, of course, just catch us here on MadeFitTV. So thanks so much for joining us. I'm going to dig into these muffins now, and, um, and I hope you guys have fun. And, oh, by the way, if you want to spread the word, check out our MadeFit gear. we got some T-shirts up there I think you guys will like. All right, we'll see you next time. I'm going to eat one, okay? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's good. Mm-hmm. Very good. I think you guys will like them. Mm-hmm. So I got some chunks in there. I don't care. <laughs>